The wife would not know though that this isn't a Giulio Quadrifoglio, which then begs the question to say that you could go to the missus and go, I'm buying a Giulio Veloce, here's the price for it, and then turn up in a Quadrifoglio and she probably wouldn't know the difference. Unless she's a petrol head, then you are royally screwed. Okay, so when you think of the Julia, instantly you go straight for the power hungry, the powerhouse, the mother of all Julias, this Quadrifoglio version. But how many people are talking about this one? This behind me is the Alfa Romeo Julia Veloce, which is not a Quadrifoglio. It is not 503 horsepower. It's 280 horsepower and it costs significantly less. And I like it. I need to try and be a little bit, I need to be fair to the Veloce because I've driven Stelvio Quadrifoglio and Giulio Quadrifoglio and I absolutely love those cars. So I think it'll be quite interesting to see how this compares to the other two. Um, I'm gonna try and give you my best and honest opinion as well I think of it, about 280 horsepower. I think the car's around 1500 kilos, I believe. Uh, 1600 kilos, sorry, I, I don't envisage it to be that much more heavier than the QV. Um, it's got, it should be relatively quick, so let's go find out. Now here's the thing, now if you were to kind of have a quick look at this, kind of glance in passing, kind of like this, you would think Quadrifoglio, but it's not. And the reason it's not is because, well, it's, it's a Veloce, but it's got so many things on it that actually are from the Giulia QV, so I guess there's a question really, is this kind of like the poor man's Quadrifoglio? Well, not really, because it's 51 grand on the road, so it's definitely not poor man's, but I'm gonna kind of show you around the car because I don't think this car is publicized enough. Um, everyone who wants to get hold of one of these cars instantly goes for the Quadrifoglio, and I think the Veloce gets a bit, well, overlooked. So I'm gonna show you a quick walk around. We're gonna take it for a drive, and I will see, because I have driven the uh, Giulia Quadrifoglio, how different it is. So we're gonna start from the front quickly. I'm not gonna go a full, uh, in-depth overview but I will say carbon fiber everywhere so you've got a nice little kind of grill here uh, with the outlining carbon fiber obviously this one doesn't have the uh, adaptive aero like the Julia does it does have obviously all of the anti-collision and all the driving aids that you get from the Julia itself it's got the same lights really nice kind of LED kind of lights it does have the same uh, the same wheel, so it's got the Quadrifoglio wheels. Uh, obviously, you can see that this doesn't have carbon ceramics, whereas the Julia would. Uh, and I also believe that the brakes on the Julia Quadrifoglio are slightly larger than that of the Veloce. But still, really good brakes, good size, etc. The paint color on this car is beautiful. The blue, I really like it. It's also, I believe, got the kind of the Nero edition on it um, because everything's kind of blacked out. There's no chrome anywhere, and you've got a lot of carbon fiber as well. So you've got same as the Julia Quadrifoglio, you've got the carbon fiber down on the skirts. Uh, we've got privacy glass on this. We've got carbon fiber here on the mirrors, which is very, very nice. Um, you've got the Quadrifoglio rear spoiler. I mean, come on, like seriously, people would mistake this car for a QV if they don't really know much about it. So you've got the Quadrifoglio rear spoiler. This specific Julia Veloce is a Q2. I believe, I'm pretty certain I saw one of these out in Geneva that was actually a Q4. Now that would be a different kind of story. Just like the, uh, the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, a Julia Q4, now that would be pretty insane. Um, so I think they do one. So this is kind of the real big giveaway other than, what, power, I guess. Um, the, the Julia Quadrifoglio diffuser is a lot more aggressive. You've got a lot more active aero underneath here. You've got obviously the dual tailpipes on this, whereas on the Quadrifoglio, you've got the quad tailpipes. But I mean, at a glance, yeah, some, I mean, I guess you, you wouldn't know. Now, really and truly, this is a, this is a bit of a familiar view. Well, obviously, because it's a Julia, but already in here, the one thing I already have noticed is that the Julia Veloce has the uh, the same aluminium pads, uh, the paddles, sorry, as the um, the Julia QV. Now, steering wheel is, again, it's nice and thin. I've always liked the QV steering wheel. Uh, this, again, is pretty nice. It's got a nice start-stop, as, as you would expect. Uh, this one isn't red, however. It still has some nice kind of stitching here on the wheel. Um, lots of carbon fiber in here, which I'm quite intrigued about, actually. So the carbon fiber here on the center console, the same kind of setup here that you'd find on the QV. Uh, we've got carbon fiber here on the door handles. 
and also a lot of carbon fiber kind of running across that that part of the dash now the seats are pretty much the exact same seats as you find in the julia qv um, obviously if you spec in the bucket seat uh, the carbon bucket option on the julia quadrifolio you have different seats but uh, i believe these are the same seats i had when i drove the car um looking at rear space um again really nice you've got alcantara and leather seats in this car um, and quite a lot of leg room in here. We've got the sat nav as we would expect. Uh, we've got the DNA driving system here. So I can flick it between DNA. I don't know if it's got a race. Does it have a race? Let's see. Hold for five seconds. No race. Okay, no race. We'll go back to natural. Uh, ah. Where's the traction control? So in the Julia Veloce, I don't think you can turn the traction control off, which is quite. I think that's a bit disappointing. If I'm wrong, I will amend it. I'll put a note in here. But if you can't turn the traction control off, it kind of defies the point of having rear wheel drive because you have the rear wheel drive to really enjoy it. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy about the Julia and all real rear wheel drive cars. But if you don't have that, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, we're going to see how, how intrusive the traction control is on this car uh, when we take it up the road um but yeah it'll be interesting to see I, I'm, I'm surprised that i would have thought the veloce would have had the option to be able to switch off traction control that's a shame it's nippy so the term poor man's quadrifolio that's definitely not the right term for this car. No way, not at all. Um, just being in this car is, there's definitely nothing substandard about it at all. And it, pow it powers through the gears pretty quickly as well. There is nothing substandard about it. I mean, interior, interior, well, like I said, it's the same seats as you would find on the Julia Quadrifolio if you spec'd in the non bucket seat uh, the non-carbon bucket seat option uh, i feel in here exactly the same as i would in a qv um in fact there, it's, there's a lot of kind of premium stuff in here the carbon fiber like i touched on earlier on um oh yeah oh, oh hello so one of the things instantly that i've noticed is that the steering the the, the amazing julia steering just stems throughout the entire range um one of the things that I love so much about this car and just all of the Julias in general is the way they feel when you're with, with regards to steering input and, and rotations on the steering rack. Um, literally, look, see how much I'm rotating the entire car minimally. That is uh, an incredible thing and um, Alfa Romeo have done a, a magical thing uh, with regards to the steering on, on all of the Julia ranges. The steering wheel feels nice. I, I've always said I like a thin steering wheel, personally. I think it, it makes it easy to grip uh, when you're throwing the car around as well. It just feels a lot nicer. Yeah, the steering wheel for me, it feels nice. Um, it doesn't have any kind of fancy carbon stuff that the QB does, but who cares about that? Um, paddles. Yeah, I mean, okay, let me slow. That steering feel is incredible. So it does let the back go a little bit, that's good. That's what we like to see. I mean, obviously aided by the fact that it is now raining, unfortunately, which is a real shame. Um, that's gonna ruin this video a little bit. Um, but yeah, so this car, it has a, it has the eight-speed ZF. I mean, it feels like it, the same way the Quadrifoglio did when I drove it. Um, it still has that fantastic thing, and I love that about this gearbox and just this car in general. That it almost feels like the power is preloaded the moment you flick the gear. So the moment you go from second into third, I mean, I'll show you a quick example. From second gear, it gives you that instant blast of power. Granted, on this car, it's, it's not going to be a blast of. 503 horsepower not at all in fact what you get in this car is 280 bhp around about five and a half thousand rpm is where it maxes out um, and 400 newton meters of torque at 1700 rpm so it's a lot of low down torque in this car and it does pull it does pull indeed i mean zero to 60 in this car is 5.7 seconds which um, in the grand scheme of things for a julia that looks like a quadrifolio you'd hope for it to do a bit more but if you want something that's quicker 
you would go and buy the Quadrifoglio. Five point seven seconds for most cars on the road to sixty is more than enough. It really is more than enough. You don't need that much more. Um, and for what this car is, it's a bit of. Yeah, oh, that steering's delicious, man. Yeah, I mean, look, it's. This is quick enough for a daily car that you're going to use for everything. And if the budget doesn't stretch for a Quadrifoglio, because the budget for a Quadrifoglio here closes to 65, I think it's 65 grand for a QV new. This on the road, 51,000. Obviously this has been specced in Misano blue. It's got all the nice fancy carbon bits. It's got the lovely wheels. Um, I don't know whether that would be, um, that would be standard. But from an engine perspective, 200 and, 280 horsepower is plenty. How does it feel, you know, comfort wise? It feels lovely. It feels like any Julia would. Um, you know, the Italians, Alfa Romeo, have done a great job with the interior of this car. There are a couple of kind of cheapy plasticky bits uh, that you'll find, but that's not the end of the world. I'm not buying a Julia mainly because of interior, personally. I'm buying the Julia because of the beautiful um, aesthetic design, the lines, the lines that this car has. It's just absolutely stunning it's a gorgeous car i let this guy go i'll show you a quick zero to six stage here we go there it is so it, yeah, it's nippy i like it i love the gear changes on it though that's one of the things that's a real and you know when you talk about the car, how a car feels like to drive, this feels good. And just that, that, these, I could do this all day long, guys. Like seriously. At the end of the street, turn right. Oh, apologies for the sat nav, but I don't really know where I'm going. We're on some sort of a, a cool route um, and yeah. Okay, look at this, some nice country, turn nice right. roads. Here we go, get in here. Yes, lad. Way the back of it. It does kill the power quite quickly when um, I'm in dynamic mode now, and dynamic obviously allows for a little bit more slip. It does it in all of it. It's just the whole alpha thing. It lets probably, but I would say, between five and ten degrees of slip before it kills the power. Um, but it means that you're safe on the road. And I mean, let's be honest, the people who are going to buy this car, I think, I think the market for this car would be. Uh, people who you know just want the car to do everything you need from a car A to B driving big boot space for the kids comfortable seats look beautiful because it does uh, but also but also not worry about the fact that each time you drive it you're going to be left with a huge fuel bill because the QV would do that this one won't do that because this is a two litre petrol turbocharged engine and at 280 horsepower it will deliver a better, uh, what's, what's the miles per gallon, does it say? 34 miles per gallon. That's not bad. We'll take that. 34 miles per gallon is pretty good going. But um, yeah, it's it's a car that is, it's, I mean, it's a great car to drive, guys. I don't, it, it, it does everything it says on the tin. It doesn't try to be something it's not, other than for its looks. It's almost kind of like, you know when you go to that party and you just dress up a little bit more to impress everybody else, whereas deep down you just fancy sitting in your PJs. I guess that's the best way because it does have a lot of Julia Quadrifoglio aesthetics and for the person who doesn't know, and you said, this is my Julia Quadrifoglio, they'd be like, mm, yeah, yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah, I like the carbon. Yeah, oh, it's got these cool paddles. Yeah, and it, and it does because at a quick glance, you wouldn't really tell the difference. The petrol heads would know. The wife would not know, though, that this isn't a Julia Quadrifoglio, which then begs the question to say that you could go to the missus and go, I'm buying a Julia Veloce. Here's the price for it. And then turn up in a Quadrifoglio and she probably wouldn't know the difference. Unless she's a petrol head, then you are royally screwed. Oh, man. But anyway, Guys, I like this car a lot. I hope you do too. I've had a lot of people ask me regarding, in the comments, do a video on the Veloce. 
Uh, where am I going? I think I missed it. Have I missed it? I think I missed it. Oh no. Oh. Sorry guys, one sec. Do a quick spin around. I'm going back that Sharp way. Right. Yeah, 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 I've got you. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's a good car. End of. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. If this is the first video you're watching, make sure to subscribe. I do loads of automotive content, uh, meet lots of cool people, come on cool press trips like this. Uh, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.